guys, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. I am in my garage again today and I am ready to do some art for you. I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get started. Hey everybody, I am so glad I am back to do another video for you. And today we are going to make resin with dried flowers. It's just gonna be a little plaque for me. Um, I made one earlier and I just absolutely fell in love with it and I thought I would share it with you. So here I am using resin from the epoxy resin store. This is the diamond series. Now with the diamond series you can cast, make jewelry, anything like molds and you don't get any bubbles. This stuff's amazing. If you go onto their website, the epoxy resin stores website, enter the code MONICA20 at checkout. You'll get 20% off your resin, all your resin needs, anything that you put in your cart. So go shopping and have some fun. I am an affiliate with the epoxy resin store, so I do get a little kickback, which helps me out a lot. So I thank anybody who goes shopping on their channel and uses my code. Thank you so much. Anyway, I have these little roses and they are real roses that I dried out and I dried them in silico, silico, I think it's called silicon or silicon gel. I don't know, but I have the link below in case you want to buy it off of Amazon. You, you just lay a little bit of uh, the little beads and it almost looks like sand and you put your flowers in it and then you lay a little bit more beads and you let it sit for a couple of days and then you have some dried flowers that look absolutely amazing with all their color and beauty. I also found this blue butterfly from the dollar store and anything that I used in this video is probably from the dollar store like this potpourri. I bought this bag of potpourri and this was from the dollar store also and I thought how cute I could just like take little bits and pieces and put it into here and I thought that was like a really cool idea just to fill it up and make it look really good. The birds are singing today. It's so pretty out. And if you notice that I kind of push my roses down with my thumb a little bit, that way I don't have to use too much resin and I don't want this thing real thick, you know. So I kind of push them down and place random stuff in there to try to fill it up. You can put whatever you desire in yours. This is what I'm putting in mine. Now I have little baby's breath that I'm just cutting up and putting in here. Next one I do, I think I'm gonna put a whole bunch of little tiny flowers in there, but I didn't have any. This I bought from the dollar store also. It's just, you know what, it's silver. Somebody spray painted some silver rocks and put them in a bag and have them for sale, which is, I think, a really cool idea because it, it makes um, the piece look full and it gives it a little bit of shine and they're silver and it's really pretty. So I thought that would be fun to add like some different kind of stuff in here. So we have potpourri, silver rocks, like you know, not the normal. <laughs> Trying to think outside the box here a little bit anyway. Next, we have this gilted glitter and it is so awesome. I got this off my friend Linda. She gave me so much glitter and all this crazy stuff and I just love her to death.
Okay, it has been 24 hours and it is dry. So my first layer is done. I mixed up some resin. And here I am going to put a little scoop of gold pigment and I am using gold from the Color Cottage. I already had a little bit left in my jar. I love their pigments. I just don't have any more. I have to place an order. They are amazing pigments. If you guys like their mica or if you haven't tried it, you might want to. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour the gold on top to make another layer. Can you guys hear those birds? One is a hawk and their family lives in a tree in my yard. <laughs> it's incredible. Okay, so there's a thin layer of gold. I get my heat gun and I pop the bubbles, but it doesn't look like it's enough. So I'm gonna mix up some more clear and pour it on top. Make it just a little bit thicker to cover those roses. I can see a couple of little ones sticking up. There we go. That's plenty. Going to use my heat gun again to pop the rest of the bubbles. Now, if there is a little bit of stuff sticking out, that's fine. I can just sand it when I'm done. It's no big deal. Again, I'm going to add a little bit of this um, silver and gold flakes for this will be the back of it. But, you know, if you have it sitting somewhere and it's sitting up on a little like I put them in a little I don't know what they're called, like a plate holder stand, you know, so I want the front and the back to look really good. So I am using a little bit of this glitter to make the back look good and uh, We'll see what it looks like when we're done. I get so excited making these because I have no idea what's going on, you know? Like when you pull it out, it's like so exciting. Hey, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Monica Barnes Art. And if you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up and ring that bell for notifications so you get notified on my next video. I am an Amazon affiliate, so go under my description and anything that you need for your resin needs you can click on one of the amazon links and i do get a little bit of credit which helps me out and it helps you because you could just go shopping like i say go shopping and have some fun guys okay so this is going to sit for another 24 hours here i am back the next morning and of course i get so excited i always do man i can't wait to open this up and see what's going on here we go. Whoa! Oh my God, I love it. Wow. It's so pretty. Look how pretty. And see, the back's not too bad either. Oh, I absolutely love it. Yay! Well, guys, it's been fun doing videos for you and I hope you enjoyed them all I'm taking some time off of YouTube and hopefully I will be back in a month or so um I love all of you God bless you all and stay safe out there let me know your thoughts and comments on my beautiful piece because I think it's absolutely stunning I love it so much Thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for being there and watching my videos. For all you who have subscribed. Thanks for everything, guys. It is June 24th, 2020. Hopefully I'll be back soon, guys. Thanks for watching.